Welcome back. Our registered dietitian, Mary Snell, joins us every Thursday with some ways to just eat a little healthier. Mm -hmm. And today we're talking about something small that can add so much nutritional punch to your diet, and there are plenty to choose from. We are talking about seeds, and you've brought yes. some beautiful ones with you. Yes. You know, I think seeds get overlooked, but if you think about seeds, this actually has enough nutrition to house a plant. So they are huh. loaded, loaded with vitamins and minerals. And all the seeds that I brought today are great, for, um, great sources of fiber. Okay. Great source of protein and also those heart healthy fats that we talk about, mm -hmm. those omega 3s that are typically found in salmon and fatty fish. Mm -hmm. But for those individuals who are not fond of salmon and fish, you know, they're looking for other, um, other products to provide those, those great heart healthy fats. And so I'm going to start. I brought some chia seeds, some flax seed sesame, pumpkin, as well as sunflower seeds. Nice. And really, Naomi, they are so easy to incorporate into our daily lifestyle. And they're all different sizes yes. and flavors. Flavors and crunch. And again, with the chia seeds, what I did here is I actually made a chia pudding. Yeah. And the nice thing about chia seeds is actually if you add some liquid to it, and you can add cow's milk or any non-dairy mm -hmm. alternative, mm -hmm. it absorbs the liquid and okay. it becomes a gel. So if you look at this, again, it's just very gel-like. So if you like tapioca pudding, this might be something to right. consider. Um, a great source, again, of those omega-3s. You can have that as an afternoon snack or an evening snack. And I think the recipe, we're going to put that on the website. Yes, so. we are. And you can yes. just add some fruit on top. Any oh, sugar? Or how do you? I added a little honey to this and a little, and a little van uh, vanilla extract. And again, a cute little dessert. Add some fruit to it. And we see chia in a lot of those uh, little bars and things yes. like that now, too. And actually, chia is added to this product here. It's a sunflower seed Yum. butter with chia seeds added again, like this dynamic duo where right. we combine the two uh, seeds together and gotten a great punch of nutrition. Flaxseed is another one that's really popular. A lot of people like to add it to smoothies, which I did. But one thing with flaxseed, you want to make sure that when you use it, you grind it. So you okay. can grind it in a coffee mill or a food processor because the whole flaxseed is just a little hard to digest. Okay. A little hard to digest, but I added it to a smoothie and I went one step further I think that I can, can, yeah, oh, yeah. Got it. Look yeah. at that, and I made them oh, into popsicles. Cute. And who and kids will never know right. how good these are for them. <laughs> you don't have to tell them about the seeds inside. Exactly, yeah, and perfect on a warm day too. Wonderful. So it's a great way to use the flax seeds, like I said, in either in a smoothie or go one step further than the popsicle. Now the pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds, mm -hmm. great sources of protein. So if you're eating a salad, for instance. Sprinkle those on top. Mm -hmm. Just a really quick way of adding another boost in nutrition right here. Sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds together make a great trail mix. Uh -huh. You know, if you're making your own trail mix. And again, the sesame seeds, I like to use those maybe on top of cereal or yeah. my oatmeal. It's a great idea. You know, there's just a lot of ways. And the nice thing is they are so small, inconspicuous actually, mm -hmm. but they really can boost the nutritional profile of the foods we're already eating. So if you're kind of missing that crouton crunch, you exactly. can get it from Exactly. Or like the granola on top of your um, yogurt. You know, right. might want to put some chia seeds on top. Yum. The other nice thing with these seeds, again, because they contain those nice heart-healthy oils, is that you can find you can find those oils as well in the grocery store, mm. like sunflower seed oil. You can actually find uh, sesame seed oil as well as flax seed oil. So those are great oils to have in terms of adding those, again, as a dressing um, or in your baked goods. So you're getting those heart-healthy fats as well in another form. All right. Mary Snell, our dietitian, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Again, this recipe for the chia pudding will be on our website so you can make it at home.